Inner Quest explores various pathways through which you can connect with the infinite wisdom of the universe and apply it to personal, professional, and spiritual growth. This program featuring accomplished practitioners, educators, and authors is provided by Infinity Foundation, an innovative center for holistic studies and research. We invite you to share this journey with us. Hello, welcome to InterQuest. My name is Jay Stone, your host for today, and our guest is Dr. Mina. Welcome, Dr. Mina. Great, Jay. It's good to be at your show. Well, thank you. It's an honor to have you. Let me tell the audience a little bit about what you do and who you are. Sure. Dr. Mina practices regenerative medicine in the North Shore. She's the founder of Heal and Cure Medical Wellness in Northbrook. Her, works help, her work helps men and women rediscover their passion. She is compiling her experiences in the book, The New Biology of Passion, to be released in May 2019. Thank well, you, Jay, for the kind introduction. Well, I'm, I'm sure you are a wealth of knowledge. I'm looking at all the uh, props you brought, brought in. Uh, but first, why don't you tell the audience why you became a medical doctor? Jay, that is something uh, from the time I was in high school, I always knew I wanted to be the doctor because the biology, the way the cells function fascinated me. Mm. And um, this is just such a perfect machine which can mold um, and do so many amazing things on its own. Fascinating. So I was always fascinated by human biology. That took me to the field of medicine, and I practiced internal medicine for almost 10 years. And as you I'm, don't look that old. Ah, oh, come <laughs> on, there's more to come. So next, as I am helping my patients with variety of conditions, they are blood pressure, cholesterol, cancer, you name it, but I wanted to help them deeper. I wanted to help them get to the bottom of the problem why they became the diabetic or why they got the blood pressure and help them resolve it instead of just giving a band-aid which they have to keep taking every single day to keep their sugar better or blood pressure better or whatever that might be. And, do you ever and that took me into functional medicine. Okay. So that's what I practice now, functional medicine. And. Uh, after you know you did your medical school, your residency, your internship, isn't a, a lot of additional education to become a functional medicine it, doctor? It is because it's an ongoing process of education, as you can understand. And a big part of the functional medicine, a big epidemic in our society, is uh, this obesity, the belly fat, which we see here. And uh, I uh, realized that I could help so many of my patients, if I just told them, showed a path to them how they can get rid of this fat. Because when I said, hey, lose it, everyone agreed, but no one could. Now, aren't there dangers associated with belly fat, like increasing cancer, diabetes, heart disease? Of course, the belly fat, the, especially you have heard about apple-shaped belly, uh, apple-shaped body and the pear-shaped body. The apple-shaped body in which this fat is going inside your organs, that's nasty. You know, a long time ago we thought it is just a depot of fat, just extra, you store it, never open the store. But guess what we learned? That store was wreaking poison through your body all the time produces inflammation, produces all kind of nasty markers, which gives you all the chronic illnesses we just spoke, diabetes, blood pressure, cholesterol, and also obesity-related cancers like uh, breast cancer, endometrial cancer, uh, ovarian cancer. And, uh, you know, the best thing you can do to reverse all of them is get rid of this belly fat. And, and do you work with your patients to do that? Of course, of course. Uh, actually, if you ask most of the people, I mean, obesity has really become an epidemic in our country. One in three of us is uh, either overweight or obese, and one in five of us is either diabetic or pre-diabetic. 
So that is scary. And uh, coming the next generation, because of this, our next generation may not live as long as we are living. Now, as a society, that's a really, really scary thing to do. So we have, um, uh, you know, people try scattered approach. You know, they figure out, oh, my friend is doing this, or my sister is doing this, or let me just buy that vitamin, or this is on sale, or all kinds of fat stuff coming out. Doesn't work. And everyone knows that. What works is a structure where you first find that how is, why is your body in this mode? Why is it storing fat? And the answer is, there's all kinds of toxicity building in your body. It can't, uh, you know, your liver cannot process this out because the fat is not evaporating out of your body, Jay. Your liver has to burn it or metabolize it. Mm -hmm. Your gut is so disrupted that it can't absorb the nutrients the way it needs to. So you can be eating out of a Garden of Eden. It doesn't matter because you're not absorbing anything. Mm -hmm. So you have to get your gut ready. You have to align your liver. You have to get your body rid of toxins and then optimize your hormones. Mm -hmm. And once you have done this, you do the right thing, which everyone knows. Eat right and exercise. You, and we were Body lets go of fat. We were talking before the show, and you said how some functional doctors focus on neurology, and you focus on the hormones. That's, that's right. And cortisol, you hear a lot about cortisol. Yes, of course. So hormone optimization is the key. Let me tell you one thing. You remember when you were 25, Jay? Mm, kind of. Kind of, yeah. yes. And we say, when we're 25, life is okay. You know, you can eat little more, sleep little less, party little more. Next morning, life Re gets recover by. Quickly, recover yeah. quickly. Yeah. As the time is going, what's happening is those hormonal signals are diminishing. We make them dull by the stress by the poison we are putting in the body every single day in form no, like of chemicals, it, okay. processed foods, all mm. that stuff. And those, the hormonal axis is messed up. Mm -hmm. Once it is messed up, it can't function right. And now you can look at food and start gaining weight. Yeah. There's a problem. And not, in, in the key thing here is there's not only one hormonal axis, there are many. You mentioned one cortisol, but then there's your thyroid and your insulin and your sex hormones, estrogen, progesterone, testosterone. They all need to be in balance for body to do the right thing, which is let go of that. Think about it like this. Think about body like an orchestra. Mm -hmm. They're all different musicians. And that's all these different hormones, different organs of the body. They all need to function at their best. But the music comes when they play in harmony. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it's just noise. Yeah. Same way, all these things can be functioning at their normal, but if their ratio, the way they talk to each other, is not optimum it's just a noise so when a patient comes to you yeah do you do you run blood tests to look at the hormone levels of course that would be one of the few things we do okay uh, but you have to find you have to make a good map you have to know where their health is let me show you these two girls if they come to me they look alike. Their weight is the same. But if you see one of them from inside, circulation is completely slowing down, and the other one, all open. Mm -hmm. If you look, this person has more lean mass, and here is more fat mass. And you would like test for body mass index? Is that something you'd test? Or is there another type of test? Another. The body mass index has kind of become obsolete. Here okay. Because 
both these girls have the same body mass index. Mm -hmm. But this one is awfully sick and this one is healthy. Because her weight is mainly fat and her weight is mainly muscle. So if you just relied on the scale, it didn't I tell you the whole story. Okay. So you need to first know you have the weight, but how is the weight distributed? Is it fat, muscle, water? Because and the health benefits come from losing the fat. And, and is there a test that measures the fat? Yes. You can, there are many tests. And actually, the gold standard, uh, which NASA does for its astronauts, is they submerge you in a water tank. That's a gold standard. Mm -hmm. Now, you would think that is a little bit impractical to do every day in the office to submerge people in water tank and find their weight. There's another test, which is DEXA scan, which also measures your fat uh, percentage. But there's some radiation involved in that. So you can't be doing that all the time either. The body impedance analysis, that is the one which comes at the third level, but it doesn't have any downsides. Mm. It's portable, it can be done with great ease uh, in office setting, and it can be done repeatedly to see and track the progress. So is that the test you use? That's the test we use, you got it, yes. Uh, okay, I've got to ask this. What is regenerative medicine? Uh-huh, okay. So you know how we keep talking 25 and when you were five, you know how they have a cut? Right. It heals very fast. Their body can regenerate or heal fast. What does it? The stem cells in the body. Mm -hmm. The stem cells can turn into, in the beginning as you are developing, into any kinds of cell they need to be. But as the time goes on, they get more specialized and some keep their power to regenerate and mm -hmm. some not that much. Let's say like skin, uh, the cells of our gastrointestinal tract, liver, they can keep, keep some of their regenerative power. The blood cells, brain and nerve cell, not that much. Now, we want to awake that regenerative power, which you are capable of, but because of abuse of our body, we messed up those signals, and now we cannot, they don't work as good. Mm -hmm. So if there is a problem, they can't go repair it fast, you know, and produce it with the new and the good tissue. So that is called regenerative power of the body. Mm -hmm. Is sleep mm -hmm. part of that? Of course. Okay. <laughs> sleep. And rest, I would assume. Of course, stress management. Yeah. So five things you need to work on to keep your body regenerative power optimal. You have to eat right. There's no getting around it. You don't have to be right 100% of the time because that will be kind of very difficult thing to do. But do the best. The more, the better, and the faster you move forward, right? You have to take your nutrients or vitamins. What your body is short of, what is your goal. Your goal might be to just get out of the chair without holding your knees and without being in pain. Someone else's goal might be just to sleep. Mm -hmm. Another person's goal might be to lose weight. So whatever your goal is, you based on that, you take the nutrient and the vitamin cocktail. You have to keep your hormonal signal optimal. Without it, the nutrition and the exercise cannot come together. You have to give your body the right kind of exercise. And a big message here to everyone who is listening is, more is not always better. So we are replacing our hips and knees in 40s. We live forever now because we have antibiotics and we have heart surgery. So by the time we are 80, we might need two hips and two knees. I mean, this is, and let's not forget shoulders. <laughs> let's not forget shoulders, right. Yeah. So you have to do the right use. Eat right, take the vitamins, keep the hormone signal optimal, exercise stress management. These are the foundation pillars of health. 
foundation pillars for you to have the feeling. You know, mm -hmm. we talk about passion. And we were talking earlier about our listeners taking a quiz for it. Yes. So I will say, uh, passion, P, pot belly, A, if you're achy, if you're angry, if you're anxious, S, if your sex life is messed up, another S, if you can't sleep, I, is the image of your body. You know, your hair are falling, your nails are falling, you don't like the way you look, you have wrinkles coming all different ways. O, overstressed, overworked, overwhelmed. I can't deal with life. And N is if you can't learn new things. There is, if you have two out of these seven, there's something going on. And don't settle in just with, oh, I'm getting older. Oh, it's the stress at work. Oh, whatever. Don't find excuses. Because if you dig, you will find the reason and once you work on it, you are going to reverse or turn around your health. And if you don't, you can just keep slowly spiraling down. And what happens then? One day a pill will come flying your way. Hey, Jay, you can fall asleep. Here's a sleeping pill for you. Well, Jay was not falling asleep because Jay's body was low in that sleeping pill. You know what I mean, right? Yeah. So, and then you take that and it creates two other problems. And then there will be a pill to fix that problem. And you know, before you realize, you're carrying a list in your wallet. <laughs> well, I, I would be a poor example of that because I've only taken aspirin once in 35 years. Look at that. You need to rub it off to our community. Well. And, um, you know, we have to just educate people that they can be like you. Well, I've had. Live like that. Good teachers, good, good role models. But i got to get a quick public uh, service announcement in. Uh, you're watching Infinity Foundation, uh, or you're watching InterQuest, sponsored by Infinity Foundation. And uh, if you look on the web, uh, on the internet, you'll find Infinity Foundation has many great classes. And you've taught there as well, and your wealth, uh, incredible wealth of knowledge. Did you want to do your quiz now for your passion quiz? Yeah, all passion quiz, a uh, little bit just did it. So okay. you want me to tell you, do you oh. want to do the quiz for me? Oh, well, I, not ah. really, but, but <laughs> okay, okay uh, if, if, if you think it'll help. So, um, uh, you know, once again, we'll say we go through all the letters of the passion. Pay, P for pot belly, if you yeah. have it. A for if you're achy, anxious, angry. Mm. As if your sex life is messed up. Mm -mm. As if you're not sleeping right. No, I, I'm in sleep in like 30 seconds. Okay. <laughs> and if, as long as you stay asleep. Image. Yeah. Your image of the body is not what you want it to be. Here are falling, thinning, wrinkles are coming, body doesn't have the shape which you were looking for. It's a problem. You feel overwhelmed. Everyone has some kind of stress. But you feel overwhelmed, overstressed, and you are not able to learn new things. Something is going on. There's a hormonal imbalance. There's toxicity buildup. Your gut and liver is not functioning right. Something is there. Dig deep enough and find your answers. All right. Um, is there other names for regenerative medicine that you practice? Yes, you uh, people call with functional medicine, integrative medicine. It's a part of it. But the idea is to take the best from all the worlds, all the schools of medicine, uh, whether that is Ayurveda, whether that is Chinese medicine, our traditional Western medicine. Just take the best practices from everywhere and use it because we are fortunate to live in an era when we can analyze all of them scientifically. Do, do you use Ayurvedic medicine or do you refer out for like acupuncture or anything else? Uh, we do use Ayurvedic medicine. I use all these different disciplines of the medicine. Think of them like different tools. So you want to use the right tool for the right problem. Mm -hmm. Jay, yoga is not an answer for every problem in the world, and surgery is not an answer for every problem in the world. Same way as a pill is not an answer for everything in the world. Mm -hmm. So once we start using the right tools for the right problem, 
the results are really good. Okay. Um, why is there such a need for regenerative medicine? So, the traditional medical system is not working very well. Let me tell you why. We have better medicines, better instruments, better trained, longer trained doctors, better uh, surgical equipment, as well as the diagnostic machines. Yeah. But as a society, we are sicker. We have diseases with names like blood pressure, cholesterol, diabetes, cancer, all going up. But what about the disease which don't have fancy names? You just wear, you don't know where the origin of the symptoms are, but the quality of life goes down. You just wake up tired. Mm -hmm. You can't focus at work. You are short with your family or your colleagues. You can't keep your eyes open during the meeting, but when you come home at night, you are ready to go to bed. Now you can't sleep because you're thinking of the meeting. So we are, our quality of life is going down. You can be watching the porn on the phone, but when it's time to be intimate with your partners, now you're too tired. There's something is not right there. And the reason is, because a variety of things, you know, the toxins. This, this, is the, this is a picture of a cell. We think cell of all oh, little things, something is that. This is like the most complex machine you can mm. think of. All this stuff is happening in this tiny machine on itself, and that depends upon what we are giving it. Mm -hmm. Depends upon the food, the nutrients. And once this machine is messed up, then this is like the foundation of your health. And if this we, is not good. We, we have how many cells in our body? Oh, my God. You can lose the count. It's in billions and trillions of cells. Lots e of e cells. Even the brain cells, I think, just alone is a trillion. So the, I will say the only word to remember here is lots of cells. Yeah. And you know, there is one organ of your body which can be as big as you want it to be. You know which organ is that? The gut. That's a fat. You can make it the largest organ of your body. Yeah. And this is sending nasty signals throughout your body all the time, which is causing the, you know, it goes in the blood vessels, it makes the circulation to slow down. So the, the, the yellow is the fat. In it's the, the fat, and it's not letting the blood flow. Mm -hmm. You know, you begin and with... And so, so people with a condition like that, they would feel tired or fatigued. Yes. Okay. And once, so if you see here, uh, Jay, you begin with an open artery, and as the time is going by, you know, the bad stuff starts collecting so in. So this is like 95% clogged. Here. And so they, doctors, they can create a, a bypass around this or give some blood thinners, you, et cetera. It, you can, but you know how many places you are going to go put the bypass. R R right? And, because and it's, it, it happens all over. And they, they tend not to work. Am I getting a signal wrap up? Five minutes to go. All okay. right. All right. So, yeah. so this, this J is like you can call it the mother disease. And we call it a mother disease because if the circulation is blocked, whichever organ in the circulation is blocked at, that is complaining. It's your brain, it's your brain, heart, kidney, legs, whatever. Well, wh what percentage of your patients do you actually have to show them to what's going on? You know, how often... A day do you refer to these charts and uh, every single day many many times a day because you know patients don't know what brings them to the doctor's offices when they don't feel well they don't know nobody people oh I'm tired and unfortunately if you just look at surface cursory look it all comes okay and then they get labeled as 
or you are depressed, you take an antidepressant, mm -hmm. which is the not younger and younger kids are getting on medication. Oh, yeah. younger grade school in grade school. Yeah, and we don't have what what happened. Well, um, what what is the population of your patients? Do you work with children? We do. And well, I would assume you work with families as well. We work with families because man is a social human being. If we we don't work with you come in, you take a pill and go. We are working on all these foundation pillars of health to reverse the disease. And if you have your family support, once the families do it together in unit, it makes the biggest change. Mm -hmm. And those changes are there to last. And what do you find uh, makes some families successful when others don't? Is it the commitment? The it is uh, the commitment. It is what they have seen, you know. Once they have seen their uh, another member of their family go through the whole process, uh, friends, a colleague, uh, you know, the faith part is there. Um, I will say when everyone uh, begins, it is there, okay, I want to do it. But a week later, they just keep doing it because they feel better. And mm -hmm. every that's like a positive reinforcement. As they continue to feel better, then there's no stopping. You know, I, I sat next to a, a professor at University of Chicago at, at a wedding, and he was a longevity specialist, and, you know, he was interested in my diet and exercise. And he says, well, Jay, you're not really going to get live a, a whole lot longer. I said, yeah, but I want to live each and every day that I'm alive to the fullest. Yeah. And that's why... You know, I prefer to eat well and exercise because it, 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 you, you, you get back more than what you've put into it. 100%. And uh, you said a really important point is, uh, do you want to just live long or do you want to live every day to its fullest? It depends upon what your goals are. And we, um, the program has to be written for the person. Because everyone go, everyone's goal is different. And um, uh, longevity and you live maybe a little less, but you live to the fullest. Each energy day is full of energy and vitality. You will be doing many, many things in a different way. So it is really important to have your goals. Understand your goals. And it's okay if you don't know. You can discuss. But what do you want from your life? Just like anything. And once you know your goals, we, you can tailor your lifestyle program to go towards it. Okay. I, I'm so, sorry, Dr. Mean. I got to wrap up now, but you're fascinating. And we covered probably a tenth of the material that I was hoping to get through. So for more information about Dr. Mina, uh, Infinity Foundation and her quest talk show, stay tuned to the credits at the end. Until next time, wish you good health. Uh, good fortune and good spirits. Thank you, All Dr. Right, Jay. It's been a good. pleasure. Same here. For more information about this show, our guest, Infinity Foundation, or any of our other programs, please visit our website, infinityfoundation.org, or call us at 847-831-8828.